Good morning. Here it is, my three iron, bladed three iron, in all its glory. And I want to show you today green side bunker shots. I'm on the 18th green here. Bladed three iron. Now look at the loft I put in that shot there. So what am I doing there to make that happen? I'm corrupting the club in quite a big way. It's a horrible wet day today. My 3 has got about, let's say, 20 degrees of loft on. So it should look like that. And of course, I'm setting up to it like this. And then I'm slicing across the ball. Now, what's the purpose of this lesson here today? Is I can corrupt my club to weaken it and play a 3-iron for a bunker shot here. So bunker shots with a sandwich should be even easier. The big message here, though, is if you're hitting a high slice with your driver, you could well be playing your driver the same way as I'm corrupting my 3-iron here and slicing across it. So if I can make my 3-iron perform the bunker, you may well be losing driver distance because you're doing the same thing. So when I set myself up for this shot here, my face is open, I aim well left so I know I'm going to slice it. And like any bunker shot, I keep moving on the way through. Not my best on that one there. Now give me a break here, still a 3-iron out of a bunker. So I'm going to keep moving now. Up. face. And when we cut the wrist in the swing, flat left wrist, normal loft, cupped wrist, massively increased loft. So when I'm playing these shots here, the setup is obviously key, but as I swing, I'm cupping that wrist there. And a cupping wrist creates lots of height. It's one of the great skills if you want to create lots of height in your bunker shots, or if at the moment you feel like you're not getting enough height in your bunker shots, you may well be going back to a flat position here, Let's cup it and get some height. Cut the wrist, and that keeps the loft underneath the ball. Good luck in the bunkers, but don't use the three iron.